welcome back. Well, coming up next week, Gulfport will celebrate 125 years as a city. What a milestone. Jace Payne and Planning Committee Chairman George Schlogel are here to tell us more about what's in store for the party. And gentlemen, thanks so much for joining us today. We really appreciate it. Thank you all for having us. Good Absolutely. Morning. And Jace, you know, this is an event so big that it has its own website, too. A mm -hmm. lot's gone into this process. But just first off, it's really an exciting time for the city of Gulfport, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's a huge milestone. You know, we're uh, we're one of the, the oldest cities on the coast, but also the second largest city in the state. And so uh, celebrating 125 years is, is very big. And so that's why we have a large event planned for July 29th in Jones Park and have been planning for a few months now. And so a lot of people have, uh, have put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into making sure that we have a, a great day July 29th. And so we're looking forward to it. Yeah, and George, I know you've been one of those people. You know, you're a member of the planning committee. You know, you're a former Gulfport mayor as well. Hey, talk about what this planning process has been like so far. Well, the first thing is inclusion. It has included all the neighborhoods. It's included people of all age groups. Our event is planned for young children up to the folks that were around not 125 years ago, but, but Close. like me up into the <laughs> 80s. Uh, so there's something for everyone. Yeah. And it's going to be a, a wide open thing where it's all free, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and it ends up that evening with fireworks. So again, all day activity particularly in the afternoon, but lots of children's activity that we're proud of. That's right. And, and you know, you were talking about the inclusion of all the different neighborhoods. Uh, you know, such a diverse history that Gulfport has. And really, this is just one great way to gather really the city, you know, c together and all of these different communities together to share in that rich history, isn't it? Correct. And, and the emphasis that we've put in the planning with a great committee is not just having a one day event but launching a, a little different way that we have the interplay between the various neighborhoods to continue efforts for a safer, cleaner, more progressive neighborhood. And some of those neighborhoods have gotten a little bit drug down because of the economy and so forth. We're hoping to get them back. Right. And we have several that have been leading that sort of a move to get back. Plus, We've got a lot of newcomers in the Gulf yeah, Court. Yeah, that's true. And this gives a people in that neighborhood a chance to meet their neighbors that they might not have met before while they're having a good time uh, listening to music or watching fireworks or looking at all the children's displays. So yeah. it's, a, it's a very progressive thing that's really, while we started it several months ago, the public will start it on the 29th but we're hoping it's going to go on for years to come. Absolutely. And, and Jace, before we let the two of you go, um, what, what should people expect for this event on the 29th? So uh, we kick off at 5 p.m. and that's when you come get your spot in Jones Park. Food trucks will be there. There'll be different kids activities all throughout the parks, bounce houses, uh, touch a truck, Lynn Meadows Discovery Center, as well as other community partners. And then at 5.30, we have the parade of our neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. uh, that goes through Jones Park Drive. And then uh, starting at 5.30, we'll, we'll kick off with some live music. That rolls until 7.30. And then at 8.30, we have fireworks and we, we end the evening. But uh, like Mayor Schlegel said, there's gonna be plenty of things to do all throughout the park. It's a free event. Uh, we want people to come out and celebrate the, the rich heritage and diverse community that we have. Uh, we hope to see them there at July uh, 29th in Jones Park. For sure. Gentlemen, thanks so much for joining us this morning. We really appreciate you coming in and, and sharing so much more information about this. Thank you. Thank you, Grant. Absolutely.